friends, now we've been joined by Lorena Julie, Julio, who is the co-founder and president of Foundation Comparlante. She is a Jajagat Walker. Foundation Comparlante is a non-profit organization that promotes equity and the development of persons with disabilities in Latin America. Lorena would also be joined by Sebastian Flores, co-founder and executive director of Foundation Comparlante, presenter of Circular Attraction Program. Every person with a disability has the right to develop and use their artistic, creative and intellectual potential, not only for their own benefit, but also for the cultural enrichment of the whole society. Their team is composed by professionals from different areas and countries in Latin America who share a common goal to work every day to achieve an equitable and more accessible world for all. Sebastian and Lorena will be joined by Nicole Kishevish, dance instructor, circular attraction, Melina Deville, plastic uh, arts instructor, circular attraction, and Romena Cruelas, literature workshop teacher, from Circular Attraction. So over to you, Lorena, Sebastian, Nicole, Melina, and Romena. Hi, Jai Jagar, dear friends. It is a pleasure to be part of this session on teaching for peace and non-violence. Thank you very much, Riva, for uh, putting things together and make this happen. Um, since 2018, when I get to know about the Jai Jagar Global Movement, we start um, as a journalist and also as a leader of Fundación Comparlante, working on uh, how to include AIMSA in our daily practice, in our actions, in our programs. So, and we have been making it for the, um, the last four years. Every time we talk about exclusion, every time we talk about discrimination, every time that we try to break down the barriers that persons with disabilities face every day, not only in Latin America, I, I can say uh, all around the world. No? So now peace and nonviolence is part of our activism. It's part of our awareness campaign and also the opportunities that we have been uh, bridging for persons with disabilities. So today we want to introduce you a program an art program, which is called Circular Attraction, and where we use art as a tool for inclusion, for development, and also to spread the peace and non-violent message of Jai Jaka. So, La paz no es negociable. Cuando mis ojos se pierden en la inmensidad del mar, cuando mis pies corren a la tienda por un pan, cuando alguien me levanta y saca las piedrecillas de mi rodilla, la paz es mojar mi cabello con gotas de lluvia. La paz no es el subsuelo que me oculta del sol o de la esquirla que corta y cercena su antojo, brazos, ventanas, sueños. La paz es mirarse a los ojos y encontrar ese niño miedoso que se cubre con armas. Ojalá fueran plásticas y terminar secándose los ojos y limpiándonos los mocos con la manga. Nadie es demasiado grande como para no caer. Los osos se desploman. La paz es cuestión de partir el pan, de mostrar la otra mejilla con un apretón de manos, de compartir un chupete. Así uses cubrebocas. Ok, well, the objectives of the Circular Attraction Program is to develop free expression of interest, thinking and feelings on the participants, to encourage the development of their own creativity, to promote a spontaneous demonstration of expression, to enable acknowledging their own body, to share spaces and activities with their peers, to support the exercise of free expression in a meaningful activities, to use art as a means for personal development and inclusion, and to raise awareness about artistic work in the community and 
in the various uh, artistic spaces. This program has uh, three pillars. One is uh, dancing. The second one is the literature uh, workshop. And the third is plastic arts. So as you uh, saw in the video, there's a mix of the uh, literature workshop and the artistic uh, and the plastic arts uh, workshop. And for the last uh, three weeks, we have been working on the topic of uh, peace and non-violence with the uh, 15 participants. They are from uh, 11 different countries in Latin America. And now I would like to invite Romina to share with us uh, how was that uh, work. And I will try to translate. <laughs> the, the main idea was like Sebastian doing this, but I will try to do my best. Uh, can you hear me oh, now? Yes. Sorry. <laughs> I'm here. I'm back. Thank you. So sorry. <laughs> well, okay. it's technical issues. So thanks to all the team for trying to help me. I had to change the device to get in again. So good morning, good afternoon to all and good night. Good evening. Thanks so much. And well, so the show must go on, they say. And this is a really important space for us to be. So um, thanks for the invitation. Thanks for the support because Circular Attraction Program, it's a wonderful experience. It's not just a workshop program. Technically speaking, going right to the theory, it's about persons with visual, motor and intellectual disabilities gathered around the same space, the same purpose through a platform to express themselves, to recognize which are the potentials of their own bodies, of their own spirit, and express all that through art in a circular way, through literature, to plastic arts and dancing. But for us, persons with some kind of disability, such as in my case, I have low vision. This means a lot more because it gives us the opportunity to know ourselves. Something which might seem uh, not that important or that, uh, that everyone should already know their self. But when you take the time with the wonderful guide of professors such as Romina, Melina, and Nicole to explore your own body, your own capacities, your own story, and what is going inside you and as well at your surroundings to transform in, into arts, it simply has no explanation enough to cover the endless opportunities that could give you as a person to go on with your life, to go on with all the many things that are happening around all of us, but especially around persons with disabilities, when discrimination, when wrong ideas about disability are still part of the daily speech, are part of the daily life for many of us. But art have this power to be peace builders. Art can drive a wonderful message of peace because first of all, we must be in peace with ourselves to engage in all this wonderful process of secret attraction. And what comes out after each session definitely builds peace in our surrenders, in our real world. I now would like to introduce you to this wonderful experience through the expression of them, the protagonists. And just a couple of things more before, you know. One is to welcome Tanya, who's present in the, in the audience. Tanya is a participant of 
this program. And she has given us the opportunity to reflect on the endless power of arts to build peace and to share what we have as humans to, to share each other. And as well, I would like to invite you to support this program, to keep supporting Fundación Comparlante through your donation to make this opportunity of bringing arts to persons with disabilities all around Latin America come into a greater peace future for all. Please visit our website, www.comparlante.com and learn all the wonderful things we are sharing as an experience and how you too can enjoy. Thank you so much. So for the next part, I will serve as a translator from Spanish to English. Thank you. Hola, buenas tardes. Soy Romina Cruelias. Soy escritora, eh, profesora en Atracción Circular, coordinadora del programa, y doy talleres literarios. Hi, good afternoon. I'm Romina Cruelias. I'm the coordinator of the program and I teach literature in Circular Attraction program. Es un, un placer y un orgullo estar en, en este evento compartiendo con ustedes, eh, desde ya agradecida con la Fundación Comparlante por darnos este espacio, eh, y a ustedes, eh, porque es importante visibilizar eh, la discapacidad eh, y la violencia en discapacidad. I'm really grateful to Fundación Comparlante for giving us this opportunity, and especially to all of you for this space to share what we have as, as a message about disabilities and how important it is to make visible visibility and as well the violence going around disability. Atracción Circular se caracteriza porque trabaja con el modelo circular que surgió acá en Argentina. Circular Attraction is characterized by its circular model or the theory which was born here in Argentina. ¿Qué significa esto? Que la misma temática o el mismo contenido se aborda desde las tres disciplinas, artes plásticas, taller literario y danza. What does circular attraction practice mean? It's to take one theme, one topic, and work around it through three types of art, plastic arts, literature, and dancing. En la práctica, con las profesoras, observamos que no todas las personas entienden o comprenden eh, de la misma forma. Eh, y vimos que muchos de nuestros alumnos entendieron las consignas a través de los sentidos y del movimiento. As the professors find out during the practice that not all persons understand the same topic, the same issue to be covered the same way, but when sense and movement come into the class, all them experience and can express and work on that topic uh, equally. Eh, con los alumnos de Atracción Circular reflexionamos sobre la paz, sobre la violencia eh, y ellos pudier pudieron contarnos eh, cómo sufren la, violen la violencia las personas con discapacidad. With uh, students of our program Circular Attraction, we have the opportunity from the start to talk about violence around their lives and about discrimination and all the things that are going around persons with disabilities in terms of violence, but as well the peace process and how they visualize a peaceful process and uh, life. Ellos en este espacio eh, pudieron poner en palabras eh, este sufrimiento 
y nos llamó mucho la atención que la mayoría relacionó eh, a la palabra con la violencia. In this process, they could, they had opportunity to put into words what violence mean for all of them. And something which caught our attention is that all of them could relate violence with the use of the word, with the expression. Compararon la palabra directamente con un arma. They compared directly words to guns. Y reflexionaron sobre, o sea, la reflexión fue, ¿cuánto puede herirnos una palabra? ¿Una palabra puede matar? ¿Una palabra puede destruir la autoestima? Based on this, the reflection went around a question. How much can a word hurt? Can a word kill you? Can a word destroy your self-esteem? Lamentablemente, sí. La palabra tiene un peso y un filo inimaginable y el uso de ciertas palabras discrimina y daña. Sadly, the answer was yes. The arm that words can make on a person are indescriptible. Eh, la población con discapacidad principalmente eh, han sido disparadas con esta arma durante el origen de los tiempos y ellos eh, se sienten afectados eh, y pudieron expresarlos y hemos llegado a una conclusión. Personas con discapacidades han sido armadas con estas palabras. Words, yes. The expression violent war have attacked persons with disabilities as a community for years. And this is something that all the students could express during the session and reflect into the art, into the work we made on classes. Y para cerrar, to a conclusion. Perdón, para cerrar la reflexión final es la siguiente. Creemos que para promover y practicar la paz, para forjar un mundo más justo, más solidario y más digno. We believe, as a conclusion, this is what the students said, to promote peace and to strengthen a more justice world. Eh, quizás sea algo tan fácil o tan difícil como eh, pensar hasta 20 antes de decir una palabra y que en ese tiempo podamos ponernos en el lugar del otro para sentir ese dolor en nuestro propio cuerpo. Maybe the solution could be to count up to 20 before saying something that could hurt someone that could be violent to someone else and that way we could build a non-violent environment for everyone muchas gracias gracias Romina. thank you so much we are running out of time please can we like give the floor to melina and then to nicole and we, we will close with the last video okay thank you Go ahead, Seba. Yes, eh, por favor, Melina, para, eh, Romina, para poder terminar, eh, ya que estamos sobre el tiempo, vamos a pasar la palabra con Melina y con Nicole y es el último video. Y cerramos con el video. Eso. Buenas tardes, muchas gracias por, eh, por, este, por este espacio para poder compartir lo que nosotros trabajamos en Atracción Circular. Eh, mi nombre es Melina de Vili, yo soy profesora en Artes Visuales. Gracias por todo por este espacio para compartir lo que hacemos en el Circular Attraction Program 
My name is Melina Deville, and I am one of the teachers of the workshop. Eh, en las artes plásticas, nosotros eh, trabajamos eh, el tema de paz desde los sentimientos, qué nos transmite paz, eh, qué nos dice nuestro interior. Y... Through my area, the plastic arts, we could work about what's peace and how we can express and bring peace through all the process. And life. Y se trabajó articulando las tres disciplinas, lo que se escribía, se bailaba y luego se representaba en una imagen, o sea, el movimiento, la palabra y eh, la pintura. So, based on the secret attraction um, theory and uh, way to, to work all these programs, Everything that could, uh, which was written afterwards, was expressed on a plastic art, on a draw, on a painting, and as well through movement in the dancing. Y para cerrar, cada participante seleccionó su propio soporte, su propio material, y a través de la música y eh, a través de la música pudieron, digamos, ir representando, ir transmitiendo lo que sentían en ese momento. So, as a conclusion, each one of your students pick which is their support material to express all these conversation around peace and violence, and through music, they express all these uh, feelings, all these conversation um, picking a, a song. Fue una experiencia increíble y la verdad, digamos, muchísimas gracias por poder compartir eh, esto que nosotros vivenciamos en las clases eh, en este espacio. It was an awesome experience and we are really thankful for this opportunity to share with us, with you, what we have been experiencing in each class. Thank you. Como aire, busco la paz en mí y desde ese motor salgo a bailar.
Thank you, Gary. Well, now, Nicole, Nicole, <laughs> queremos escucharte. Nicole, we want to hear you. El movimiento es universal. Y creo que como somos un Move. equipo y somos circular, somos movimiento, somos conexión, somos encuentro. Movement is universal, and as I believe, us as a team, we are secular. We are sharing, we are feelings. We are together. Romy tiene el don de la palabra, Mary tiene el don de los colores. Y yo soy el movimiento, pero creo Romina que la paz has the, the power of the world. Melina has the power of the arts. I got the capacity, the power of movement. And I believe that peace. Esta paz está sostenida por la creatividad y la inteligencia y la practicidad de Lorena. And I believe that peace is sustained by the intelligence and the practicity of Lorena. La dulzura, la contención, el saber de Sebastián. The sweetness and the contention of Sebastián. Todos los videos que vieron, la creatividad de Álvaro. The creativity from Álvaro, all the videos you have seen. Y creo que somos un granito de arena en el medio de este mar donde cada uno de nosotros tiene su lugar siendo distintos y nos respetamos. Para mí, eso es la paz. All of us are a little bit of sand in this big ocean we are living in. All of us in our place with our characteristics and to respect all the difference and the places we are in, I think, I really believe that there is where peace belongs. Y esta paz de este equipo se ve reflejada en cada uno de nuestros alumnos en los distintos países de Latinoamérica. Y estas redes de unión nos sostienen ofreciendo el corazón. And the peace shared among this team is reflected in each one of the students of the program, in each one of the countries all around Latin America, which are sustained under the message of bringing, offering our heart. Gracias, gracias, gracias. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A key message of this song we just shared a few seconds ago. It's who said that everything is missed. Today I come to offer my heart. That's what that song, which is really important in the Latin American folklore, says. And that's the message us at Fundación Comparlante and Secret Attraction Program want to share to you today. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you all. That's uh, just so wonderful and amazing and fantastic to see and hear. And I wish we had so much more time to engage with, with all of what you're doing. But thank you, thank you, thank you.